Vince McMahon may be back in the WWE boardroom, but thankfully he's been out of WWE creative since last July. Join us now as we look at why Vince McMahon leaving has turned WWE into a better product. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Short. Number 1. TV and PLEs are more entertaining The fans can't help but notice that Raw and SmackDown are like night and day from when Vince ran things and the current regime under Triple H. The Cerebral Assassin has worked to eliminate many of the problems that drag down WWE TV, the same matches week after week, inconsistent pushes for wrestlers, a lack of direction and little build up for PLEs. Our things have improved for PLEs as fans no longer have to deal with meaningless matches on the show or filler like hype videos. While we miss having matches on the pre-show, it, it doesn't miss TV matches somehow making it to PLEs, either denying better talent the chance to wrestle or cutting into time for an important match. While both TV shows still deal with problems during major sporting events, overall they've held up in the ratings market and is constantly deteriorating. Number 2. More outside wrestlers are interested in working for WWE, released and others. Isn't it funny how so many wrestlers wanted their releases when Vince McMahon was running their show and now it seems like everyone can't wait to get back into WWE? Whether it's released wrestlers who were happy working smaller promotions like Impact or wrestlers who were content just being out of WWE, the tide has changed. Fans have heard stories of contracted talent wanting back into the WWE and while these can't be confirmed, legally the WWE is barred from contacting wrestlers under contract even if the promotion has been accused of doing so. It is known that talent from other promotions such as AEW have hinted that they might be happier in WWE. Number 3. Wrestling Seems Cool Again While wrestling has never been known as highbrow entertainment, it's been a long time since fans have been able to watch WWE TV with non-fans without feeling embarrassed. No matter how good the wrestling might be, fans could always count on one or more cringy moments in which they'd hang their head in shame and feel like they were better off binge-watching Hoarders or My 600 Pound Life. For the most part, that's no longer the case and it shows as more celebrities are willing to appear in WWE and wrestling seems to be enjoying a bump in mainstream popularity. Whether this is the result of the WWE's broadcast partners promoting its shows on the other programming is unknown but the WWE does seem to be enjoying an uptick in popularity. Number 4. Less Emphasis on Talentless Muscle Men I don't you miss roided out or a genetically gifted non-talents like Lars Sullivan whose monster pushes that were inversely related to their actual talent? Vince McMahon's eternal quest for bigger and better has always been a problem for him ever since the days when he tried to find the next Hulk Hogan, save for the new generation era when the WWF steroid scandal had him looking for anyone whose physique didn't seem to come from a laboratory. This has always been the problem with Vince and for some reason it became worse through the years. The WWE still has some big men and women in the company, but these superstars are more than mounds of muscle. They can wrestle matches. The WWE is also using its big men better, creating hoss fights like Brock Lesnar vs Bobby Lashley rather than squashes like Brock Lesnar vs Ricochet. Number 5. Announcers are allowed to do their jobs well, What's happened to the WWE announcers? Did Triple H replace them? Well, no, he's allowed them to think for themselves rather than having to deal with the harpering of Vince McMahon and their headsets. Turns out Michael Cole was in a hack collecting a paycheck every week. In fact, it's quickly become clear he's one of the best announcers a WWE has ever had. Kevin Patrick has risen to the occasion on Raw and the red brand's colour commentator Corey Graves really does have an edge that makes him entertaining to listen to. The two have even managed to work around the often artificial babyface announcer and heel colour commentator dynamic, making it entertaining. Number 6. Outside Wrestling World Acknowledged did you know that AJ Styles and Finn Balor once worked in New Japan Pro Wrestling as members of the Bullet Club? Well, you never would have heard this mentioned on WWE TV under Vince McMahon's regime. However, with the exception of All Elite Wrestling, the WWE has much more open policy when it comes to acknowledging wrestlers past in other promotions and the existence of these promotions. Just as important, the WWE is slowly opening the so-called forbidden door by allowing some of its wrestlers to appear in other promotions. For example, Shinsuke Nakamura was allowed to wrestle the great Muta in Pro Wrestling Noah, while Carl Anderson worked at a New Japan event that also had wrestlers from AEW, although Anderson didn't wrestle anyone from AEW. There are also rumours that WWE is allowing NXT talent to work with select indie promotions. Quite a difference from the days when an appearance by Impact Wrestling's Mickie James at the Royal Rumble was nothing short of a miracle. 
Number 7. Wrestling isn't booked for Vince, but for the fans. Once upon a time, Vince McMahon had his finger on the pulse of the fans. He also had men around him who knew the business and who he was willing to listen to for advice. But at some point, Vince McMahon lost touch with the fans' tastes and he began surrounding himself with lackeys who would do anything but disagree with him. It's easy to understand why Mr. McMahon would think he knew it all. This was a man who put WCW and ECW out of business. Although there's a case to be made that WWE's rivals put themselves out of business and was the acknowledged king of sports entertainment. So if Vince McMahon thought Batista was a better winner at the Royal Rumble than fan favourite Daniel Bryan, who were the fans to question him? If the fans can't take Roman Reigns as a babyface, why should Vince listen? With Vince out of creative, fans can now support wrestlers, knowing there's a good chance the WWE will acknowledge their cheers and push wrestlers rather than burying them for daring to defy the company line. Number 8. Wrestlers can communicate with management It's often been said that Mr. McMahon lives in his own world, which may explain why wrestlers were often unable to find him. Even before the pandemic, more wrestlers were complaining that Vince was impossible to find, so much that you'd think Vince was playing a billion dollar version of hide and go seek with his talent. This led to increased frustration as wrestlers had to deal with various mid-level personnel when they had questions or problems, often leading to miscommunication with the wrestlers getting blamed for something that was lost in translation. By most accounts, it appears wrestlers have as close to an open door as they can get when it comes to sharing their ideas and on occasion, their compliments. That doesn't mean that their problems are always solved, but there's much better communication in WWE right now. Number 9. Logic in Storytelling Wrestling is an entertainment genre with its own rules and conventions. Much like any genre, be it science fiction, horror, mysteries or westerns, its fans expect the characters and the work they operate in to follow the established rules and conventions. In WWE, there are baby faces and heels. While wrestlers can change from one alignment to another, there is usually some sort of plot element that causes such a drastic change. Similarly, rules are consistently enforced by referees, even if said officials have an uncanny ability to miss heels breaking the rules. That wasn't the case with Vince McMahon as wrestlers turned with no rhyme or reason, Braun Strowman exemplifying this and rules like the brand split were routinely thrown out. Need we mention the wild card rule? Number 10. Overall Stability Fans have heard many stories about how the WWE is a much more relaxed environment to work in. Although Vince's return could change that, the current narrative is that wrestlers and employees are much more comfortable going to work. This seems to show more enthusiastic performances from everyone around. There have been less reports of backstage heat, the Triple H honeymoon may end, but so far everyone seems to be in a much better mindset, which in turn has helped the product. And number 11, a drastic decrease in stupid comedy segments. While it's unknown if Vince McMahon has the mind of a 5th grader, there should be no doubt that he has the sense of humour of one. Vince's idea of what is funny has always been suspect, but over the last few years, it's produced plenty of cringeworthy moments with toilet humour that just isn't funny and frankly does nothing to help professional wrestling or make its fans want to be associated with it. But there you have it folks, why Vince's leaving has been good for WWE. Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.